If you're playing Elden Ring and you're looking for the perfect weapon for you, or maybe something just a little bit different to mix up your playstyle, we've got you covered in this video with a very effective stun locking axe that if you haven't used in your playthrough, you've got to give it a shot. And if you do enjoy these videos, make sure to show support by clicking like and subscribing down below and letting us know in the comments if you have any other underrated weapons that you think more people should use. I'm Paradise Central and let's jump into it with the Stormhawk Axe. This is a battle axe designed to resemble a hawk, with its wings comprising on the blade. It has nice detailing, and it's a nice design for a weapon as well. And it's a signature weapon of warriors who strive to remain one with the storm. Despite being so far from their place of birth, their hearts are proud and thereby they're easily undone. A nice bit of flavour from the weapon description there, but this one does require 19 strength and 15 dexterity. It has no passives and you can't buff it. So you may be wondering, why am I showing you this weapon? And it's simply because it doesn't need those things because this weapon has an awesome Ash of War built into it called Thunderstorm. You imbue the armament's wing blade with lightning and swing it around to create a tempestuous lightning storm. Follow it up with additional inputs to perform two additional spinning attacks and the lightning buff will stay on the blade for a short while. The thing is this not only deals really good damage but it also deals massive poise damage and it seems like it gives you some poise for yourself as well because you don't often get interrupted doing this unless it's a very heavy attack. It of course also buffs your weapon with lightning damage and it can basically be spammed at most enemies to destroy them before they can even react to you and even if they have enough health to survive it, it will often stagger lock them so you can just kill them with the follow-up swings anyway. And if the enemy has really high poise and isn't getting staggered by this, it's probably still worth it for the damage you deal, especially if you're using spirit summons or co-op in order to distract the boss or the monster that you're fighting. You can get in some real damage if you can get the full charge of this Ash of War skill off. On top of that, with just two incantation buffs, the Golden Vow and the Flame Grant Me Strength, combined with the Ash of War lightning buff on the weapon itself, you can easily get to over 1000 attack power on this, and this is only at plus 9 not even plus 10. So you could go even higher if you have those ancient somber smithing stones. Of course lightning is easily buffable with something like the lightning scorpion charm and of course ashes of war are easily buffable with things like the shard of alexander. So this is a very easy one to set up a nice build for focusing on strength with a bit in dex as well and you've got yourself a very competent good build that will stagger lock enemies trivialize a lot of the harder enemies and bosses just because of how good this skill is. So let's talk about the weapon location and how you can get this axe for yourself. The main method of getting them is probably from the Nephili questline, which will reward you with two of these so you can easily power stance them as well. Nephili is a fellow warrior and tarnished who was ordered by decree from her adoptive father to dethrone Godric, and if you've played through the game and you know how the story goes towards the end, I'm sure you will know what happens to her adoptive father, and if you do know, tell us in the comments down below because it is all intertwined with the lore of the game, and it's a really cool encounter when you get there. But you could also just slay Nephili the first time you encounter her in Stormvell Castle, and this way you can get them really quite early game, but you will miss out on the quest if you do this and anything else that comes with that quest. So it's up to you if you want to grab them early and slay her, or go through with the quest to get them both for yourself. When it comes to power stancing, of course the jump attack is great, but does require hitting both both swings of the axe to make it worth it and deal the good damage. The regular power stance combo is quite nice, but the real benefit of this weapon is from the skill like we talked about, so you could actually combo this with a different axe and power stance, put on a shield or whatever you like in your other hand, you only really need one, but it's up to you because you can easily get two of them from the quest line anyway. If the quest has been messed up for you though, you can actually grab one in the courtyard with the Iron Maidens near the fortified manor at the first floor of Lindal, the royal capital. If you've enjoyed this video, show it some support by liking and subscribing down below, and again, let us know in the comments if you have any underrated weapons that you've been using in your playthrough to destroy enemies and you don't see other people using or talking about. And we've got videos on screen now that you should definitely click and not miss out on because we think you will really enjoy them if you've enjoyed all of our recent videos. So give them a try and click them on the screen now.